So, continuing from my last video where I got to this point, I am setting up the blue bucket method for raising seahorse horse fry. Um, just before I start plumbing, just some equipment stuff that I'm using. I'm using a Simplicity DC pump so that I have the control on how much flow I want. Um, I'm using the DC, the 6000, but I prefer the 2000 but I just had a 6,000 line around, so I was gonna use that. Um, for UV sterilization, I'm using the Coral Life Turbo Twist. On this build, I'm gonna do, I have a 3X, but the 12X is ideal um, if you have access to that one. And then I'll be using a uh, Bow Magnus Curve 5 for my protein skipper. So I'm going to be building my return line. I'm temporarily using this um, valve that will go in between the, turf, the pump and the UV sterilizer. Um, the purpose of this valve will be for when I turn off the pump to be able to turn it and prevent um, backflow. Um, I'll be switching out for a check valve in the future, but to get this up and running, this will work just fine. So let's get building. So I'm starting with basically just going from the return pump up. So I my pump's outlet is three quarter inch. So I have some three quarter inch braided tubing that's going to go to this valve, and then this um, UV sterilizer is uh, five eighth or yeah five eighths. So this uh, valve is kind of an adapter for me. And I'll go into there, that will go into there and adapt into um, my rigid PVC that will go to my drip, my overflow, my return lines into both of my blue buckets. So start it off getting this on there. Now I'm just gonna tighten it up on the bracket. to make sure it's good and tight and so there won't be any leaks. Right now I'm just gonna get it in place so it goes somewhere. Then I will tighten it up later with a 12 point wrench. So that'll go right there. things about the turbo twist is they have these uh, couplers so you don't need to use any hose clamps and I really like that just because I don't like hose clamps. I use them when I need to. Apparently my son's a dinosaur today. these things work is they have their little nuts and they have a threaded side and a non-threaded side. And you put it on the hose. Well, yeah, you gotta put it on the hose first. No, no, you You put it on the, the pump first and then you put the hose on. Squeeze it all the way far on as you can and then you use the nut and you go back and it compresses your hose to make your seal. So same thing on the other side. So, whenever I'm cutting my tubing, 
I just, since I do a lot of PVC pipe cutting, I just use my PVC pipe cutter. And I'll show you how I do that. So it's gonna go from there to about here. So I start with the cut, get to where it's going, and I twist it so that it penetrates the plastic, and I can cut the rest of it. So that's a nice little trick that I've picked up on. So that will go from there to there. should be that. So next step is working with the PVC itself. Starting on the PVC, the way that I'm going to be building this is um, back here I have a T that splits my return line and then from there that will go up, direct, go straight up, and each of those is going to have, it's going to go up a little bit and then have a valve. And that will allow me to control the tanks independently um, for whatever reason I may need to, and then I can adjust the flow of the tanks. I want one tank to have higher flow because the seat is a little older. Um, can for lower flow for when they are younger. It's an easy adjustment as well. Adapting each tank specifically to its needs. So once again using these nice little valves that are single union. in just a little bit so I can uh, have easier access because it's being very bad. I don't imagine I'm going to use it. I don't adjust it very often. So that's why I do that. And then that will go up to another set of T's that will balance along here and my turbine will curve around. So I will do that. Like that. connect to that and then I'm going to use some uh, flexible PVC it's called spa flex PVC that will wrap around the tank 
and then I'll look down from there. So, I'll go grab that stuff. So, I just kind of laid it out on the one side, but for you guys, I'm going to do on the other side. This is a Spa Flex. It's just um, flexible PVC. Use PVC solvent with it. So, it's great to work with in conjunction with your PVC pipe if you need to make a tight corner or a loop or something along those lines. And it goes right into the PVC fittings. Just gotta make sure you wedge it in there and then you you use solvent to make sure it gets a good seal. So going into my T's and And just go around, and then for the last side, get it in, it's around, and I try to get these about um, 180 degrees from each other. If they're not exactly, that's not the end of the world. Um, okay. And then I need to go pick up some parts, but um, I use 45s or 90s to kind of direct the flow so that it will create a circular motion. So here's a nice overhead view of it. Right now my um, brine shrimp hatchery is dripping into it. I'll probably make a video about that and how I built that as I expand it um, in the coming weeks. So then my next portion of this video will be finishing this up and then making the standpipe for the center that allows for flow and not catching seahorses.